We, we live in a digital age. We've got access to the internet 24 hours, seven days a week in our hands, on our smartphones. We can access you know, vast amounts of information online. And yet, despite that being the case, not a week goes by without somebody asking me or my team for help to find a service. Whether it's a health service, or whether it is a, a place where they can get legal assistance or counseling, or just assistance in feeling not isolated. Um, we get these requests every week. And so there, there's this disconnect between being connected in this digital age, but people still not being able to find the services that they need in order to live healthy lives or be happy or, or be connected with their friends. And we think that there's something, there's something that we haven't really fixed despite having all of this technology around us. I got diagnosed HIV positive 12 years ago. And in the space of my doctor's consultation where he told me my HIV status, in the same breath he told me that I would be fired, I would, my visa application would be denied, and I'd probably be deported. And that was the end of the consultation. I was left to fend for myself. He did not give me any other information as to where I could find out information about my legal situation as well as my health situation. There was two. How often do you get a medical result that has a legal implication as, as grave as that? So I had to then go and find the information myself, and it was incredibly difficult. And these things felt every single time I hit a dead end. It was like, you know, you're being hit on the head or being shut away. And if I wasn't as hard-headed as I am, I would not have persevered. So Be Change is a social enterprise. Uh, we are on a mission to promote social change through technology. And by that mean, we mean using apps, databases, websites, and other types of online tools uh, to help make a change in the world. And in our case, we're using the perspective of LGBT people. As open, you know, when we started out, we were open to doing anything, uh, just to find out what, what our capabilities are and where the opportunities were. Uh, but now we are focusing on two things. One is we are going out to uh, help organizations assess and improve their capabilities using uh, technology for social impact. And in this case, in the short term, it's limited around HIV or LGBT work. But the bigger portion of our work is around this idea of putting inclusion on the map, helping people understand where they can find uh, inclusive services, or inclusive places in their city. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put that data into a mobile app and distribute that and see how that can help improve people's lives. I think the thing that makes us different is the fact that what we've done has emerged from Southeast Asia. Um, all of our team are either from the LGBT community or allies from the community. They're Pinoys, they're Singaporeans, they're Malaysians, Indonesians. Um, and their lived experience has informed the way that we do work. And I think that that will be seen, at least globally, as something refreshing from what comes out of the Bay Area and Silicon Valley. I'm not saying that we're better or worse, I'm saying that we've got something new to share. And, uh, and even more, that it's some, something that has been informed by people from the LGBT community in this region as well. So what I'm asking for is not that the world be just LGBT friendly or inclusive and LGBT, because to me that's limiting. We're using LGBT as a perspective, a, a, a litmus test. My, my assumption is that if we can encourage more people to be inclusive of LGBT, then that will be a stepping stone to be more inclusive of people with disabilities, uh, people of different ages, of people of different ethnicities, of different faiths. The whole point is that we want these values of inclusion, of opening our communities, our homes, our workplaces, the places that we socialize to everyone, because we've only got one home. We've got to learn how to share it. Otherwise, that vicious cycle that we're on now is just going to continue. So that's what I want. My name is Lorinda Garcia and I am an Ashoka Fellow.